Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will explain how to convert your hard drive format, from MPR to GPT in a previous video, I explained how to do this, while installing Windows. But in today's video, I will explain how to do this, without losing any data. I will use the command prompt window, to convert the hard drive format, open the command prompt window, as administrator. Then, enter the command that appears, in front of you, on the screen, and I will leave you the command, in the video description. Change the ID number, of the hard drive on your computer. Then press enter button, to execute the command, and then enter the second command that appears, in front of you on the screen. I will also leave you the command, in the video description. You can wait a few seconds, until the command is finished executing. Before closing the CMD window, look at the last line. You must change the boot system, on your computer. You must change the boot system mode, to UEFI so that your windows can open, without any problems. This note is very important, because without changing the boot system, to UEFI your computer, will not be able to open properly. To verify that the hard disk format, has been changed to GPT right click on this computer, and select manage. Click on disk management, from the left. Then from the other side, right click on the hard disk, and select properties. Then, click on the volumes tab, and in front of partition style, you will find that the hard disk format has been changed, to GPT or good partition table. And thus the convert of the hard disk format, to GPT has been completed. But the most important step is to change, the boot system to UEFI, enter the BIOS, and change the boot, for me I will change the boot from VMware. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings, and from the top, click on Options. Then, click on Advanced, and on the other side, select the UEFI option, and click on the OK button. This will boot Windows on VMware correctly. And without any problem, you can also select the UEFI option, from your computer according to the type, of motherboard you have. Thank you for watching. And I hope that the video is useful to you. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.